Wetbush seeing room for the rally to run, writing following Tesla has the potential to hit the elusive 1 million overall delivery vehicle mark, potentially two years ahead of our original 2024 projections. The new long-term bull case scenario on the stock, wait for it, drum roll, $1,000. Wedbush's Dan Ives joins us on the phone right now. Neutral rating on shares of Tesla, 710 price target. Dan, a neutral rating. Make sense of that for me. <clears throat> Look, I mean, right now, you, you got to view it as what's sort of the bull case. And even though the stocks run, you know, in, in my opinion, the big focus for us is China. Because if China, if they're able to be successful in China, and early signs are you know, very strong, that could add 300 hours to the stock. So I think right now, if you look at last night, it was a game changer quarter. It shows EV inflection is really starting to turn. And for Tesla, in terms of the bulls, I think, you know, the rally continues to go. Well, Dan, let's break some of it down. So 500 vehicle deliveries, the target for this year. A lot of it's going to depend on the ramp up in China. At a time when we've got some serious concerns about growth in China with what is happening in the coronavirus. Why do you think that objective is so reachable, so achievable, so attainable, Dan? Yeah, I think 500,000 is a, a sandbag special. Uh, I think ultimately we could be seeing 530 to 550K. And a lot of it is demand coming out of China. You could have 100,000 incremental units coming out of China. Europe looks strong. And obviously Model Y now is, is ahead of expectations. So I think they were conservative out of the box, which is smart. Um, but then fundamentally, you put that through with profitability, as Tower was talking about, where's $20 earnings power and how quickly could you get there? That's really what the valuation right now is being driven off of, $20 earnings power by 2024. Dan, the narrative has completely changed. Existential risk just 12 months ago, and now we're talking about the stock going to the moon. It is still the most polarizing stock on the planet. You know that. I know that just from the conversations we have every day about this company. I'm just wondering about execution. Dan, we've had problems with execution again and again and again with this company over the last few years. Why has that changed? Why do you have confidence they can execute in a place like China? I mean, look, the comeback story that we've seen over the nine months is really, it's unlike anything I've seen covering tech on Wall Street for 20 years. So you got to give Musk and Fremont credit for what they've done in terms of turnaround and execution. A lot of it is really resting Giga 3 in Shanghai. And if you look right now, trajectory is about six months ahead of expectations in terms of the ramp up, not on, just on production, but demand. There's always going to be speed bumps, but at least right now, there was a lot of hype and they met the hype and more Super Bowl-like performance uh, by Musk. Dan, just a final word on CapEx, if you can. Where's the CapEx going to show up in 2020? A big part of the CapEx is going to be continued build-out in China as well as in Europe with Berlin. I think CapEx is pretty manageable here, which is why right now there is no reason that they have to raise capital. They took that continued off the table. And that's why right now, if you look at Tesla, you know, bears are going to hibernation mode because the stock fundamentally looks like it's going higher. And we, we think best, best bull case, $1,000 right now is within the range. Hey, Dan, if you were short this stock over the last six months, you got the face ripped off. I'm not sure how many bears are left out there. 